Hi friends, Jen here with Serenity Hill Farmstead. Today I am making some custom tea blends for a Christmas gift that I am going to give this season. Now, if you didn't check out my last video, I will stick it down there in the description box for you to check out. And that is five different herbal gifts you can give uh, this holiday season. Now they're all varying different degrees of difficulty. Most of them pretty stinking simple. Actually all of them except one is pretty stinking simple. So if you are interested in that, definitely go check that out video. After, check out that video after this one. But today I am making three different teas for this special person that I know is going to bless them and help them with some things that they struggle with. So we're gonna go ahead and get that started today. I've got a whole bunch of different herbs here. All of this was grown on our farm this year and which just makes it that much more special. It's very exciting. So, okay, so we're gonna go ahead and get started. So the very first one I'm gonna make, I think I'm gonna slide these over a little bit. Slide this one over a little bit and we'll get started with this one like right here in front of my face. Okay, we are going to make a kind of a stomach, like a nervous gut kind of a tea. Uh, this person uh, struggles with, you know, stress, like workplace stress, some life stress and things as we all do. And um, it comes out in their gut. So I am putting some herbs in here that I know this specific person does not have any kinds of sensitivities to, that does fine with this because they've had all of these herbs before and some other teas I've given them when they've just been at my house and they've done just fine. So the first one I put in there is red raspberry leaf. Now this is a good herb. You might be wondering why this is in for the gut. Now red raspberry leaf is good um, for women's health. It's good for the uterus. So it does have all of those good properties that you know are typically found talked about more with women's health, but it does kind of have a mild diuretic action to it also, which can help with bloating. And if you have stomach issues, and really when you're going through cycles, premenopausal, postmenopausal, when things are kind of erratic um, and your hormones are kind of all over the place, red raspberry leaf can just be a help to that. And we all know that no matter what time of life you're going through, when it comes to women's reproductive cycles and hormone fluctuations, the gut is drastically impacted. So red raspberry leaf is a good additive here. The next one is Tulsi. Of course, Tulsi is a adaptogen. It's a fabulous herb to have on board and I'm definitely putting it in that one. I might put it in another one too. We'll see. Um, this one here is lemon balm. This is the wrong one. Let me grab the lemon balm. Okay, that one that I had was a lemon balm mix. <laughs> Funny story, I actually, <laughs> I accidentally mixed my lemon balm and oregano together. So I'm not quite sure what I'm gonna do with that one. <laughs> can't be, still can't believe I did that, but that's what happens when you're trying to do things, too many things at a time when you're distracted. All right, so we're gonna add some lemon balm in here. Very good for the gut, very good for the nerves. Lemon balm is just wonderful and oh, it always smells amazing. This is oat straw. Oat straw is very mineralizing. It's very nutritive. And that right there is the property that we are going for in this. And this here is marshmallow. Now, normally we are looking to do marshmallow root for the gut and we do not put that in a tea. That needs to be a cold infusion, not a warm infusion. But for this specific person and what I know about their history, um, th this will work. This will work without getting too personal. We don't wanna, we don't wanna give away all the personal information here, but um, marshmallow leaf would work good for this person here. And there are still the same demulcent properties. It's just not like it is in the root. Like the root really shines for the gut. And we're gonna go ahead and put this in. And there we have the gut, our gut tea for this person. All right, so there's the gut one. We will put that one right over here. Okay, this next one we're going to do is a respiratory blend. Now this one I'm gonna do, I'm gonna start with hyssop because for this person, that expectorant property would be very beneficial for them. 
So I'm doing a little bit, you may notice I'm gonna be a little more heavy handed with this one because there's not as many, uh, as many herbs that are gonna go into this one. With, for this purpose, I need to break up this mullein a little more. For this person, there are some herbs that are in my Breathe Tea Blend. You know what, we're gonna go ahead and just take out a huge leaf. Um, that don't really work great for them. So the ones that we are putting in there are gonna be beneficial uh, to help them you know, in the way their asthma specifically works. So this is gonna be marshmallow, mullein, and hyssop for them. And this marshmallow is really good at balancing the mucous membranes. If you have that type of asthma where you can go from like a wet, thick, mucus, saturated, just nasty cough to super dry and irritating, marshmallow is really good for balancing the mucus and the phlegm in your mucous membranes. So we definitely like marshmallow for that. That is going in there. So we've got marshmallow, mullein, and hyssop. Nettle is what we want in here. Uh, this one is really important for that inflammation. So that is going in there as well. So we've got just that four part of those herbs, uh, equal parts to all of them, nettle, hyssop. I actually put a little more hyssop in there just because that expectant property is so important for that person. Uh, that is really struggling with that mucus, that asthma, that some types of asthma can produce, especially if it's allergic asthma, which this person definitely, definitely has. Allergy reactive airway. So there we go. That is good and blended, and we're gonna get it into the jar. Now, this is a really, really easy gift to put together. It's really very simple doesn't take a lot of time to do but it's very meaningful like I put a lot of thought um, behind each one of these blends that I'm doing for this person and I wanted something that was really going to work best for her and that is going to um, help them get over the things when they have different struggles pop up so all right and the last one is the sleep blend so this person is not a good candidate for valerian, um, not because she's hot-headed, as is like the typical, the typical kind of contraindication for valerian. If you're hot-headed, you should not be um, doing valerian, but just because they're super sensitive to it. So we're not gonna be doing that. But we did passion flower instead. And usually people that are kind of contraindicated with valerian root, you can do passion flower instead. Catnip has those lovely nervine properties. We're gonna go a little heavier on the catnip, I think. Just because of the gut stuff going on with them. We're gonna go chamomile, also a fabulous herb for the gut. But super awesome. Again, they're very, I'm not putting chamomile in the gut tea because they're sensitive to sedative properties and nervine properties. But I will go ahead and put that lovely apple flavor of chamomile in there, and that'll just be delicious for that. And of course, lavender here. Um, if you get lavender and it's gray, and it's still gonna smell like lavender, but that pretty much means that. It was either sun-dried or sun-scalded um, or it's old and just the properties of it may not be as strong as they should be, but this is what your lavender, ooh, as I make a mess, should look like. It still should be that vibrant purple just as it was when you pulled it off the plant. And I am going to give a good healthy dose of this lavender. It's kind of packed in there. And that is gonna be a really delicious tea. Okay. I love the taste of chamomile and lavender in a tea. They really are some of my favorites. I love the floral flavors in teas. Some people don't. And I feel that people just kind of like either love them or hate them. So, I don't know, maybe you gotta do a little bit of detective work to try and figure out if uh, the person that you are trying to put teas together for 
really likes them or really doesn't, but I feel like they're delicious. <laughs> That's my own personal preference. Now, even if they don't love the flavor of the tea, the aromatic benefits of this, still super calming, still super relaxing. Um, and they could make satchels with this. So you can just get some reusable little satchels, uh, like little muslin bags or something, you can get them off of Amazon. <clears throat> and you can just fill it up, put them in the satchels, and then you can keep them, they can keep them under their pillow or just kind of throw them under their sheets. And then they can get that, that Nervine property, the aromatic properties in as they're getting in their bed, which would be super calming and relaxing. And actually, I think I'm gonna do that for my kids. I think I'm going to. I think that would make a very cozy bed when you get in at night. Wouldn't that be great to climb in your bed and have that smell of chamomile and lavender in your bed every night when you go get in the bed? That would be awesome. I'm gonna do that. I think I'm gonna do that. Now, I think actually I'm gonna add a little peppermint because I know she does like peppermint. And I did go a little heavy on the passion flower, um, as I'm noticing here, as it's all mixed together. I mean, it's a beautiful tea, look at that. I mean, that's a beautiful blend. But passion flower does have a pretty distinct flavor to it that we need some help with. And I think the mint and just, just a little bit of peppermint and the apple from the chamomile, it has like a, an apple florally kind of flavor to it would complement each other really well. So let's go get that. <clears throat> All right, so here is the peppermint. Just a little bit, not too much. That literally is like an eighth of what I put in there compared to everything else. That is just so beautiful. I love working with floral herbs just because they're so pretty. I mean, I love, I love the way they all look in the jars, but when you've got like the different, the different flecks of color and texture in there, they're so pretty. And I mean, who doesn't love the aesthetics of a nice herbal gift? You know, like when you open the box and you see more than just a big, box of green stuff <laughs> where you can see all of the different flecks of color and the different parts of the plants in there. It's so pretty. So this one's a little low. So I think I'm going to add a little bit more in there. I am not going to add any more peppermint. And that's for sure. Or not peppermint. Um, passion flower. That's what I'm trying to say. There's the chamomile. And of course, that catnip in here as well. Okay. Now, I'm just eyeballing this because this is a specific batch for a specific person. I'm not worried about perfectly measuring it. If you want to, you totally can. When I'm making things specifically for people, I tend to not measure unless it is required in a specific recipe and I need to be exact. But I think if you spend a lot of your time in the kitchen and cooking from scratch, you're pretty familiar with what a cup looks like and a quarter cup looks like. So you don't have to really break out all the measuring cups to do all of those things. So here is the sleep blend. So we've got a sleep blend. This one's a little low too. Well, let's go ahead and fix that one too. Okay, well, there we go. We've got a sleep tea blend. We've got a respiratory blend and we've got a gut health blend that is going to, I need to top this one off too. We'll do that later. Um, that is going to help nourish and help support gut healing when they have uh, flares of what they have going on with their gut. So these three blends, super easy. You saw how fast they are, really easy to do. I think what I'm gonna do is I've got an old shirt that my washing machine decided to eat. <laughs> so I can't wear it anymore, but it is a um, red and black plaid shirt as you know, my flannel shirts I wear so many times, but I've got an old red and black uh, shirt that I'm going to just go ahead and cut out the squares 
and I will put it under the ring on top of the on top of the lid just like that and put that on and then tie a piece of ribbon around the jar and I will have a nice little label on there probably like off the side I'll probably print one off and I'll make something pretty in Canva and then I'll tie it onto the ribbon you know so it'll be hanging off of that so that's what we're gonna do with these and that'll give us a nice personalized herbal gift for someone that I know loves tea and they will very much appreciate the handmade gift so definitely something that you should try out I highly suggest try out for the tea lover in your life it makes a fabulous Christmas gift and I find that most people that are used to store-bought teas don't really understand and appreciate the full flavor of a loose leaf herbal tea that is made with fresh herbs uh, the way, you know, freshly grown. You know, they haven't been sitting on a shelf for years on end. And I find they're always surprised at the flavor that you get in teas like this when you're using these fresher herbs and blended teas like this. Uh, instead of just having one or two flavors together, it really is more of a flavorful and um, just a delicious tea. So if you do decide to do this, I would love to hear from you and tell me what you think and tell me what you made. I would love to hear the different concoctions and recipes that you guys come up with too. It's always interesting to hear. If you haven't subscribed yet, I wanna invite you to hit the subscribe button because we're gonna be talking about all of the other herbal gifts that I talked about in that last video. Again, if you haven't checked that out, check out the link in the description box below so you can be prepared to hear about all the other awesome herbal gifts that we're gonna make. And we'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.